the next one comes from the time when Richard III seized the crown in 1483. His two nephews, Edward V and his brother Richard, the Duke of York, were imprisoned at the Tower. By the end of that year, they had completely disappeared from public view. While their exact fate is unknown, it is widely believed that the two young boys were murdered so that so as to extinguish any hope of either royal laying claim to the throne. Okay. In 1674, the skeletons of two children were discovered buried in the tower's stairs. Oh, man. And King Charles II ordered a royal burial for these bones. Okay. And for their remains to be put at Webs- oh, Westminster Abbey. Oh, no shit. Really? Yeah. That's a cool place. Yeah. But from what I understand is they refused to test the bones. I don't know how they would do it anyways. Like if there's any descendants that they can compare the DNA to or whatever. Oh, but okay. from what I understand, they, they refused to test it because they don't want to admit, yeah, he killed his nephews, some royals. Uh, but they're like, mm, to be on the safe side, though, we're going to give them a proper burial. Okay. All right. I guess. But would, I, I just don't understand. Why wouldn't they want to know for sure? I don't they know. They just want to bury it, that. Yeah, they want to bury that that all happened. Uh, I don't know because you would think as much as I love this shit that I, I know the whole fucking flow chart of <laughs> <laughs> who belongs to who. But I don't know if the current queen of England is somehow distantly related to these people and doesn't want, you know, doesn't want to admit. I don't think she is, uh, but I don't know for sure. So maybe I think they just don't want the ugly truth out. Yeah, that's what it sounds like. Yeah. Today, the spectrals of two little princes have been seen in what is known as the Bloody Tower, dressed in their white night shirts. There have also been, they have also been spotted playing on the battlements, and more modern visitors to the tower report hearing the laughter of children throughout the halls and on the grounds. 